How to loop a video. You can easily loop any video by simply copying and pasting the same video over and over and over again in your timeline. However, unless you have a blank screen at the start and the end of your video, then your looped video is gonna have a super obvious jump cut and it's gonna ruin the entire loop effect. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to seamlessly loop a video. Now for this, I'm gonna be using Veed as opposed to the editors on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. And later on, I'll explain why. To get started, just click the link in the description. Firstly, we're gonna create a seamless loop script, similar to the ones that you will have seen on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok where you unknowingly rewatch the same video over and over because the loop is so subtle. Now, in order for your script to work on a looped video, you need a sentence that can be broken up into two parts and make sense when played together and separately. For instance, which is why I always get asked, how on earth do you loop a video? Now, the main content of your script doesn't require this, so you can just write the remainder of your script as you normally would. The only sentence that you need to bear in mind is the final one. It needs to segue into your loop sentence, and that's going to ensure that your video as a whole flows seamlessly and makes sense. Now, when it comes to recording your script, you're going to want to read the looped sentence first and then continue reading the remainder of your script. And when you're finished recording your video, we're going to open up Veed. Now, the reason that we're going to use Veed over any other social media platform is because of music. So you can't loop music within any of these apps and having the music stop and start is a dead giveaway when creating loops. And using Veed, we have access to copyright free music. So not only do we avoid our looped video getting a strike or a ban, but we can also loop the music in Veed to create a seamlessly looped video. Now we're in Veed, click upload a file, select your loop video and give that a moment to load. Now, do you remember how I said earlier that you need a loop sentence that can be broken up into two parts and make sense when played together and separately? You're now going to understand why that's so important. So put your playhead to the part in the looped sentence where it can be broken into two parts and click split. Pick up the first part and then drag and drop it to the end of the video. Now you're gonna delete the gap at the start of the timeline. Okay, so we have our looped video here, but there is a slight jump cut near the end where I've added the first part of the looped sentence. I'm gonna mask this now by adding some of Veed's built-in stock footage. Click add media above the timeline next to stock videos, click search, and in here I can search for an appropriate clip. I'll select the best option for my looped video and then give it a moment here to load. Then drag and drop it between the jump cut clips to mask it. And then I can shorten the stock video by pushing it over to the left. And if you wanna add any more stock footage, you can just repeat this process. Now the next thing that we're gonna add is some background music. So put your playhead to the start of the timeline and click audio in the toolbar. Next to stock music, click search. And same as with stock footage, you can search for literally anything you like. You can press the play button to hear a demo of the track. And once you've found the right one, click the plus sign. As you can see, the track is much longer than my loop video, so I'm gonna to have to push that over to the left so it ends in sync with my video. I'm gonna lower down the music now so I can actually hear myself speaking. This next part is very similar to what we've done before. So we're going to put our playhead to roughly the five second mark and we're going to click split. Drag and drop that first part over to the end of the video and then remove all gaps so that the music track fits under the video. Now, one final touch that we can add is a sound effect. Click audio in the toolbar and scroll down until you see sound effects and then click search. Type in cinematic and select your favorite sound effect. Drag and drop it to the start of the jump cut point in your timeline. Put your playhead to the end of the video and with the sound effect layer selected, click split. Now pick up the remaining part of that sound effect and place it at the start of your video. If you wanna lower the volume of your sound effect, you can go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I'm happy with my looped video. We can now export it. Click done in the top right hand corner and where it says quality, you're gonna click next to it. Then go ahead and choose your render settings, click back and click export video. We're gonna give that a moment here to render and then once it's done, click download and download MP4. I'm now gonna upload it to my TikTok and show you the final result. How on earth do you loop a video? Looping a video can be as simple as copying and pasting the same video over and over again. But if you want a seamlessly looped video with music and sound effects, you'll need to be a little bit more creative. Looped videos have a higher retention time, which leads to more engagement on your profile. Anyone who's trying to grow their socials wants to create this. Which is why I always get asked, 
how on earth do you loop a video? And that's it. That's how to create a loop video. I really hope you find this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.